Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to prove that the set of all real numbers is uncountable. Now it's, I guess, important to know what uncountable is. Um, this de definition is pretty simple. Definition is pretty simple. It's an infinite set which is not countable. Uh, quite easy, but uh, let's say we have a countable uh, set, such as, you know, the set of natural numbers, which is, uh, I'm sorry, it's one, two, three, so on and so forth, all the way to infinity. Uh, but yeah, that is countable. I could count the one, I could count the two, and I could go on and on. And hypothetically, I could reach infinity. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, the set of natural numbers is countable, but we, we want to prove that the set of all real numbers, that is not countable. Um, so yeah, here is the proof. Um, it actually suffices to prove that uh, all the real numbers between zero to one is uncountable because if uh, all the real numbers between zero to one uh, is uncountable then all the real numbers from you know throughout the, the, the number line um, that will be uncountable so we're actually going to do the proof by contradiction so we're going to um, assume that uh, between zero to one, all the all the real numbers uh, they are countable. So we, we're going to assume this range is countable. So there exists a function uh, which has, I guess, a one to one um, relation between uh, the range of zero to one, all the real numbers. So which is bijective. Basically, uh, bijective me uh, means one to one. Um, you could get any number from here, and it would correspond to uh, a unique number in this range. And now, I guess the next step is to recall that every real number has a decimal expansion, has a decimal expansion. Okay, um, like, you know, pi is 3.1415, so, so on and so forth. Um, square root of 3 is 1.732, dot, dot, dot. But yeah, you could, every number you have, you could make it into a decimal, decimal expansion. So let's say, uh, you know, the first element of this, uh, this function, f, equals 0 0.A11, A12, A13, da, 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 all the way to A1n. So this is just a number. Uh, it could be 0 0.5. Five seven three one four five whatever. Um, let's say the second number, f two is equal to zero point a two one a two two a two three da da, da a two n, and this goes on till f of n, which is zero point a n one a n two a n three da 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 to a n n, and you know even it'll go on further from here. Uh, because it will be, you know, an infinite. Um, it will go on inf infinitely. But uh, I want you to take a look at what I am circling over here. So these are A11, A22, ANN. These are the diagonal terms that I want you to focus on. Um, and now I'm just going to turn the page. Um, let's have, let's take C, which is a uh, another number, which is between uh, the bracket 0 to 1. It belongs to here. Okay. Um, let's have C equal zero point C one C two C three da 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 C n. Okay, this is a new number, a new real number. Uh, but it's a unique number because uh, it's defined by every every C i is different. Then the diagonal number. Basically, um, C1 is not equal to uh, A11. C2 is not equal to A22. Uh, CN is not equal to uh, ANN, and you know, so on. Okay, so uh, we have C1 that belongs to the set of between 1 all the way to 8. Uh, such that, you know, C does not equal A11, 
C2, uh, same thing. 1 to 8. C2, C1 does not belong to A. 2, 2. And I'm just going to write it down. Just please bear with me. Uh, C, N belongs to 1, 2, 8. Such that C, N is not A, N, N. So C is created such that C belongs to the function of uh, the, this function because, you know, C is a real number within uh, 0 and 1, between 0 and 1. So it has to belong to uh, this function because that's what we define this function as. But it can't be F1. It's C is, no, whoopsie, C is not F1 because, you know, the first number... Uh, is not a11. Um, so the c cannot be equal to a1. c is not f2 because uh, the second number, uh, even if the first number match, even if uh, c1 equals a12, c2 does not equal a22. So c, c the number, number c is not equal to a2. Uh, this goes on. So c is not all the way down to c is not fn and you know it's it's not any of those any any of the numbers within the function so this means we found a c which is supposed to belong to the function of n but it's different from every number so uh function of natural numbers i mean um but yeah so we found a c which is supposed to belong here but it doesn't so our um assumption was wrong um this is not a bijective function. Um, there are, yeah, so f is not bijective, and uh, that means our assumption was wrong or false. Um, so yeah, so we kind of, I like to do this, hence proved. Uh, but I'm going to explain it a little bit more. So c is not any number in this function, but um, we had the function made such that it kind of covers, trying to turn the page. <laughs> uh, we had this function made, whoops. Um, it says that it covers every number, but that means every number is not covered. It's not bijective. Um, between zero and one, there are, and it obvious, it obviously, an infinite number of real numbers, but they're also uncountable. And if uh, between zero and one, all the real numbers are uncountable, obviously, throughout the number line, all the real numbers are uncountable. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, this I was actually in class. I remember a uh, story. Um, I was in class, and my teacher asked me, "What's what's bigger?" You know. Um, the natural numbers or the real numbers. Obviously, the real numbers are bigger, but it's so much bigger than the natural numbers that we cannot comprehend it, which is, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I actually got the question wrong in class. That's why I remember it, and that's why this is one of my favorite proofs. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna bore you anymore with, the, with my story time. Uh, yeah, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Um, any, uh, if you, you know, do choose to like and subscribe, I do appreciate that. Uh, but until next time, peace out.